It's a video about how to play Fig Jam by Butterfingers. You can break the first part down into two parts. Index finger in the third fret of the sixth string for the first note. Second note, you can either use your pinky or your ring finger for the fourth string, fifth fret. So you're basically just doing an octave of the same note. And then your index finger in the third fret of the third string with heavy vibrato, where you pull down, release, and let back up. It's the first half of that. The second half of that riff starts off with the third fret of the fifth string, then the second fret of the fourth string, then back up to the third fret of the fifth string. Then you pull off from the third fret of the third string with your flip off finger to open. You're just pulling off and letting the open string ring. And then the last pull off is from the second fret of the fourth string to the open fourth string. So all together. For the transposed keyboard part, you start out with two strikes of the sixth string with your index finger in the third fret of the sixth string. Then it's a single strike of the fifth fret of the fourth string then back up to the sixth string, third fret, single strike. So double strike, single, then back. Then you strike the third fret of the fifth string. So all together. Quickly. The second part of the transposed keyboard part is a hammer on followed by a pull off. You hammer on from the first fret of the fifth string onto the third fret of the fifth string. And then you pull off from the third fret to the first fret fifth string. one strike and then the last part of it is a pull off from the third fret sixth string to the first fret sixth string so all together <laughs> portion of what he does. He mainly focuses, from what I can hear, on the fourth, third, and second string for this one chord. Um, index finger in the fifth fret of the fourth string, ring finger in the seventh fret of the third string, and your pinky in the eighth fret of the second string. He seems to strum them in fours. Then the other chord is you bar your finger across the eighth fret <coughs> all the way across. Flip off finger in the ninth fret of the third string. Pinky in the tenth fret of the fourth string and ring finger in the 10th fret of the 5th string. 
when he's strumming those four chords, he seems to mostly ignore the bottom two strings when he's jumping between. He does do a part where, um, I guess you'd call it, the beat kind of drops, and he just drops on that one chord. The, when he drops on that one chord, he seems to be playing the full chord. And then it's that same chord, slide back to the first fret with it, one strike, then slide up to the second fret with that same chord. So when he's doing that part where the beat drops, with the song.